Hello everybody, so yes, I'm traveling to France. My plan is tomorrow at 2 a.m. I need to be at the airport at 12. So I will prepare myself. Let's go. We are on the plane and we will take off in about half an hour, let's go! We put our luggage in the hotel and now we're going to have breakfast We are already leaving the hotel, we didn't even sleep in it. And let me tell you why. We first reserved a sleeper train for tomorrow, but it was cancelled due to problems. So we tried to catch the night train to the Alps, but we just couldn't because there were no more places. So we got back to the hotel in Paris and pursue our night. We spent the next day in Paris discovering the city and reserved a car with driver for the next day. Finally, we were preparing this camp since Christmas and the day has finally come. We are heading to the Alps, not in train, but still, we are going to our camp. I'm so excited. We just arrived. The view is amazing. Let me show you. Six AM. A small breakfast be before the camp. We arrived at the base camp. We selected some MREs, put it in our bag and then left in the pickups to the mountain. We then continued walking and walking and walking and then stopped in the middle of nowhere. This my friends is Fred slash the beast, a former special unit specialist in hostile zone, basically Indiana Jones. Eight years ago he created Survivor Attitude to organize nature and jungle survival courses, especially commando ones. Let's get back to our camp. We are preparing all the stuff for the camp. He asked us to open our bags, told us what was not useful, and then showed us the perfect survival equipment. We then explored in small groups our surroundings, I discovered a small stream that will be useful. We also found wild strawberries. And then got back to the camp to share our findings. It's time to eat. We did some fire, boiled some water. And we ate our food. We are now going to bring some water. Yeah. 
He taught us how to do fire with a stone, rope knots that we used on our tent for the night. By the way, it was perfect. Almost. There was only one problem with it, and it is that we were on a slope and we were sliding down while sleeping. After building our tent, we ate the dinner. Oh, and don't be misled by the light. It was already 9 o'clock. So, okay, I had pasta and it was way better than the chili con carne I had for lunch. Our tent is really cool. We even have a light, look at this. Amazing. Let's go drink some water. We are going to bring some water before it becomes totally dark. I brought this lamp. Here is some water going from up there. Whoosh. Good night. <laughs>